I usually do the waxing um, the night before uh, going to the trails. And what I do is that I'm going to check the uh, hourly uh, temperature. So we're going to be skiing at 10 a.m. And according to the forecast, um, cross fingers, it's going to be um, minus 17 degrees Celsius. I have a waxes here. The first one is the red wax, which is minus 2 to plus 1 degrees Celsius. Minus 1 to minus 9 purple wax. Minus 7 to minus 15 degrees uh, Celsius. So I'm going to use this uh, green wax to wax my uh, kids' uh, ski. Before anything else, make sure your skis are ready for waxing. I usually clean our skis right after we are done skiing, making sure there is no water on it. Remove excess wax before applying the new one. I usually scrape it and with the help of the wax remover, it's kind of an oil-based substance to help easily remove the wax by melting and a little bit of scraping. Now the skis are ready. Let's first apply the glide wax and have it set prior to waxing. For this one, this is a fish scale, so I don't need to, um, to wax this one. However, the tip and the tail or the glide zone, I need to wax those with a glide wax. So this is how you do it. Squeeze a little bit. One uh, caution here is that you're going to avoid the uh, kick zone where you put your wax. So these um, glide wax and your uh, farapin wax should not uh, mix. So um, avoid that one. I have a mark here on my ski that uh, this is my, um, this and these are my kick zone. So I don't need to uh, put a glide wax on that one. So put the wax there like that give like um, half inch from the uh, from your marker of your um, uh, kick zone on the on the tail I'm going to um, do it the same way there you go and then I will uh, set that one for around um, five minutes or so until it dries before I'm going to apply my uh, brush to make it shiny so it will glide, obviously. <music> this portion here is my uh, kick zone where uh, I'm going to um, apply the wax uh, on this area from this area to here. This is uh, basically uh, based on uh, the weight of my uh, son or the weight of the skier. My technique is that I'm going to leave um, one inch from the end of the, of the, the kick zone. Later, I can just uh, spread the wax. And this um, wax is kind of uh, sticky. I'll just place it here. Same with the other one. I usually do this one uh, twice. I'm going to warm the, um, the iron. You can also uh, use a cork here, but then um, it takes a lot of time. It's not fun to use cork here. Here we go. So I just use that one. Avoid the, um, the glide zone. So it's melting. And then I'm just going to uh, Spread this one evenly. Okay. And I just do a circular uh, motion pattern of this one to, to, to melt the wax. There you go. And then uh, I'll let this uh, dry for a couple minutes. The other one. 
same thing. Always uh, look at your uh, marker, where is your uh, glide zone. And then lastly, I'm just going to even that out. And again, I'm happy with that one, so. Brush it. There you go. If you have any question, just drop in the comment section and I will try my best to answer that one. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.